Oh my lord, it smells amazing. Do you ever struggle to find the perfect coffee at any of the grocery stores? Are you trying to avoid the long lines and bare shelves at the grocery store? Well, look no further. Trade solves this problem by connecting you to the best coffee roasters in the nation. Since Trade conveniently delivers coffee straight to your door, you'll never go another morning without that fresh cup. With Trade, you can discover new coffee from the nation's top roasters. Trade will actually match you to the coffee that fits you best and deliver it straight to your door. Step one, take the quiz. Tell Trade how you like your coffee and they will create matches just for you. Step two, choose your delivery frequency and it'll appear straight to your doorstep fresh from the roaster. Step three, rate and repeat. Rate your matches so Trade can continue to delight you with coffees you'll love. Now here comes the best part. For the first 100 viewers who click the link down below will receive an additional 30% off their personalized bag of coffee when they sign up. And I almost forgot, free shipping is included. So what are you guys waiting for? If you're a coffee lover like me and essentially need it on a day-to-day -day basis, head to the link in the description, guys. Go get your personalized coffee and thank you so much, Trade, for sponsoring today's video. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you another episode of Mustang Madness and thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. As you can see we got Blue Super back here and today's guest guys, you may have seen his car in a couple of my videos. We haven't really showcased it on the channel and it's definitely a car you want to see because it's super unique between the color, the carbon fiber. Chase has owned it for a couple years now and he's actually thinking about selling this car so 3,000 likes. 3,000 likes on this video. This man has to reevaluate his decisions. Make it happen right now. Without further ado, everyone, here is my buddy Chase Cordell. Chase. This is my 2013 Gotta Have a Green Mustang. Uh, they made this color for two years, 13 and 14 only. Wanted this for a long time. Actually sat in one when it was brand new. The Richmond International Car Show. Looked right at my mom and said I'm gonna buy one of these and I saw the price tag. <laughs> a couple years of savings later, finally got me one and uh, it kind of started from there. I'll take a quick walk around of the car. Uh, up front, went with the Shelby front end. Just looks aggressive. Always love this look. Side skirts on it. Roush lower side skirts, uh, RTR wheels, the Aero 7s. Waited a long time for those to come in finally. You don't see that very often at all on these cars. Uh, took a lot of work to get that set up. Around back, we've got the quad tip courses. Uh, they're the sports, not the extremes, because the extremes were too loud. Starting at the top, we've got a VIS carbon fiber hood. I looked for a long time for a hood. I wanted something really aggressive, really clean, without being too totally overdone. Had this hood completely sanded and cleared three times. Uh, to make sure it gave it a really depth of shine, good show quality. Uh, to match that, went with the whole carbon fiber theme. We come down here and get the Anderson Composites GT500 grills to go with the Shelby front bumper. The uppers and lowers with the 1314 look. Had to get a matching Coyote badge. No snakes on this pony. We got some Demon Eye headlights. Then GT500 lower lip with the little extensions. We got the RTR Aero 7s in satin charcoal. I really like this look. I'm not a huge fan of black wheels. Uh, they just don't stand out enough in pictures for me. In fact, all three of my cars have set and great wheels on them. <laughs> Track pack car, so it's got the bigger Brembo brakes. They're four pot, 14 inch rotors. Down the side, we got the Roush lower side skirts. Kind of makes it look lower. Black badges, of course. Just got the black 5.0 badge. Uh, down the side, got 5% tent. Keeps it nice and cool. Can't see anything in. Can barely see out of it. On the top, we got the roof wrap black. Really like that look. Probably going to be painting it black actually sometime soon double five on the back you literally can't see through it this is the true fiber gt350r style carbon spoiler uh, it's from true fiber of course uh, rather rare to get I somehow picked one up and they only had a few when they first came out uh, took a little while to get it installed 
had to shave the trunk a little bit, uh, repaint everything, and remove the antenna to get it to mount up correctly so it would fit right. Real popular on the S550, everybody loves it on those. But I just wanted something different, something you don't see all the time. We got a RTR deck lid, not chipped, not scratched, not rusted. <laughs> we got some 1314 tail lights. This is the best. No offense, you 1112 guys. Got a course of quad tips down here. And of course, to get the quad tips on the 1314s, so you're gonna have to put the Shelby Valence on. Not a huge project, just gotta do some cutting, some trimming, uh, all the alignments there from the factory. So it's a little bit of time and effort, and you can get it on there. Big fan of my custom license plates. That yeah, wasn't me on there, just thought it was funny. Plate actually kind of matches the color of the car. Didn't even realize that when I ordered it, to be honest. Then we got the uh, True Fiber matching carbon uh, license plate shroud. Had a RTR one for a while, it got broke. Heartbreaking. Uh, so I had to keep the uh, carbon fiber theme going. Around the side, we got the uh, Dial Dynamics uh, authentic side markers that look nice, not too spaceshipy. eBay ones, they're too, way too tight. We also got the GT500 uh, mud flaps and the Roush rear skirt as well. Something you can't see on the car is it does have a 15 inch conversion. Uh, to shave uh, some down on the brackets, and uh, you can fit some 15s in the back. Uh, that's usually how this car runs right now. It's getting ready to go to Mustang week. Uh, so probably see some of you guys down there. Uh, so we're gonna run it on street tires for now. It spins a lot, but it's all right. <laughs> got the RTR Aero 7s. Uh, I actually run a squared setup on this car. It's a 20 by 10 and a half on all four corners. It's a plus 45 setup. So it's basically the rear fitment. Uh, it does actually fit on the front. You just have to play around with the camber settings. So we got some 275, 35, 20s. These are BF Goodrich Comp 2 all seasons. They do pretty good. They're not a straight summer tire. Uh, it's like a aggressive all season. As far as the exteriors, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything kind of just has its own theme to it. Wanted to keep it really clean, but aggressive and different at the same time. So we'll head inside the car. I'll show you the uh, Recaros, everything else that comes with the track package cars. We'll go from there. It's inside the car. Uh, it's factory option with the Recaro racing bucket seats. Uh, this is a really rare option. If you can find these, definitely get them worth about three thousand dollars or so uh, if you're buying a new from Ford. Did a little bit of interior stuff. Um, just got some of these like inlays that you can buy. Want to give it a different look. I'm not a big interior person. I uh, just like to keep things really simple, really clean. We do have a MGW race spec shifter uh, with a weighted knob. It's about the heaviest shift knob you can actually buy. It's like two pounds or something ridiculous. Also have the factory navigation. Uh, it works pretty good. I definitely like the look of it. And the radio sounds pretty good with the Shaker 500 system in it. Got the Ford My Color, it's a full premium. Uh, so everything you could want, minus heated and cooled seats. Basically stock on the inside. Like I said, I like to just keep it clean, leave it pretty much original. That's pretty much it for the interior. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood and see what we've got in there. So underneath the hood, guys, a uh, bit of an NA Warrior to be honest. Got a 2018 intake manifold. Uh, it's not ported yet, thought about doing it, but the gains just really weren't there for it. I was a bit of a guinea pig for this. I was one of the first people to do this a while back. And uh, it was good fun. A little weird to route the vacuum lines for it, but it does, it completely transforms the car. It's so much better than the stock manifold as far as the high RPM revving. You can pick up some power as well. Also got the JLT uh, V2 intake, I believe, or V3. Uh, it's supposed to go to a 2018 Mustang, but it does fit. The only other stuff that's really done to the car is we got a set of Cook's long tube headers. Uh, they're the one and seven eighths option made it to a off-road H-pipe uh, out the back to the Corsa Sports. I absolutely love this exhaust setup. I've had a few. Let me know what you think. Anyway, I want to see what this thing, um, what it has to offer. I mean, the car is extremely loud. As you can see, the thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably one of the most aggressive S197s I've seen in person. Never seen this hood on a car before, which I like about it, because it's super unique, as you mentioned. Because let's face it, when it comes to S197 worlds, everything been done. has been done. Everything. But no, dude, I have to admit, this car is definitely up there with the uniqueness. So I figured we should just jump in it, go for a yeah, little cruise, give them some exhaust, and yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, let's hop in this beast. Hey, what do they call this, the green machine? Mean bean. Mean bean, that's what it is, <laughs> the mean bean. It's, it's 
pretty loud. You yeah. definitely pissed some people off with that. <laughs> This thing's awesome. It feels good at eight, man. I must admit, it definitely. It's stout. stout, dude. Do you have any of plans of E85 at all, ever? Uh, they don't have any stations near me. That's the biggest problem. Like, I've looked at the kit. The kit's cheap enough. Um, and just injectors that boost a bump, pretty much. Uh, but the nearest station to me is like 45 minutes away. So, uh, so it's almost not worth it. It's just not worth it. Me by surprise. I'm glad I clicked record. <laughs> well, there she is, guys. The mean bean. Look at this carbon fiber. Get that clear on there. That really pops. And for those of you that wonder why you do this, um, carbon fiber is known to turn like a yellowish haze due to that thing right there. So you wanna get them, you know, as he said, sanded and cleared and cured and everything. So this carbon fiber will remain the same, but obviously it's more protected. Well, this thing's a beast. I really don't think you should sell it. The car has a lot of history, it's gorgeous. And I don't know, we're gonna see what the fans think about it, but I mean. It's a nice car, I like it. Uh, you're just ready for something new, aren't you? Yeah, I just get burnt out on stuff. I run through cars as fast as I possibly can, build them and sell them and get something else to I mean, I understand that. money on. Yep, I mean, it's the, it's the addiction that comes with it. It's definitely an expensive hobby, but this mean bean right here, this thing's sick. And what's your Instagram for everybody if they can go follow or hit you up for obviously seeing it's how much uh, you're asking and crowds stuff. underscore 50 crw and it's right there on the screen guys well there you have it guys another episode of mustang madness for the books chase's car absolute monster i absolutely love this color and a little fun fact when i had the coyote itch long before Lucifer over there i wanted this color because you just don't see them and if you do see them they're not going to look like this car this is going to be one of one and when you see this at mustang week you're going to know exactly who owns it so with that guys i just want to go ahead and thank you so much for watching Make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video. Remember, 3,000 likes. This man over here is going to reevaluate his whole decision on selling it. Today's DBP vlog shout out is going out to Genie50. Love the Grabber Blue Man. Keep up the great work and go follow him on Instagram, guys. For those of you that want a chance to want a shout out on the vlogs, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's right here at Derek Brand Productions. And when you post photos of your car or anything, use hashtag DBP Squad in all your posts. Every time I film a video just like this, I go to that hashtag, I see who used it, and boom, shout out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time for another video. But until next time, we'll see you later.